Well, hello. I had a few people ask uh, how to make these pylon planes that we've been racing with. Just exactly how difficult it is to make them. Not very difficult. And I thought I'd make uh, a series of videos maybe here and show you um, how to cut the foam for the wings, how to lay the wings up, how to make a fuse. Um, the rest should be straightforward, putting the kit together. But you know, hopefully you can see that it is time consuming. It does take a lot of time to do this, but it's not very difficult and it's not magic by any stretch of the imagination. Um, so the first thing you need is a piece of foam for the wing. Um, I've already blocked this out. I'm not going to show that. Uh, it's as easy as just, you can either trace out the, the shape of the wing and then use your hot wire to just cut out the sections um, and do a whole bunch at one time so it saves some time. This one's already been cut out. This wing is for the 315 size class plane. It has a 54 inch wingspan, so this half span is um, 27 inches. Um, so it sits on the table. Uh, my, my foam cutter is just homemade. And it's just attached to the side of my table saw table. Um, let me uh, move this camera around so you can see some of it. It's just got a swing arm on the bottom, uh, some percentages marked out on the, on the uh, part that swings, some pulleys to pull the wire at the right, uh, the hot wire at the right rates for the wing. Um, I am using um, a feather light bow. That's Ron's bow. My bow is over here, it's a little longer. Uh, I probably should use a longer bow for this, but it's set up, so I'm going to use it. Um, for power supplies, I use a uh, transformer, just a regular transformer. It's like a 5 amp, 24 volt transformer to drop the voltage down. A dimmer, um, when you turn the dimmer on, the light comes on, lets me know that it's working. And this can move back and forth, it kind of dims the light. Uh, I have since, I used to use that all by itself, and I still do sometimes, but I've also got a Variac um, that I can adjust the voltage on a little better than that dimmer switch. So, cutting hand launch wings, uh, I use this a lot more than that. Actually, in conjunction, um, this is the power supply for the Variac, um, and then the the variac uh, is supplying the voltage for my pull strings, my wires. Um, anyway, that's what I use. It's real easy to set up. The this power supply you could probably build this one here. You could probably build for mm, I don't know. It's probably thirty bucks, uh, forty bucks. I think. I think I've, that transformer is about twenty bucks. Um, the drop. The, the actual uh, cutting table is just scraps for the most part. And the bow, I, you know, I've, I've used homemade bows before. I like the feather cuts a little bit better, but homemade bows work fine. Um, and they can be as, you know, the feather light bow is probably 40 or 50 bucks, but a homemade bow is, I don't know, 10 bucks, something like that. Uh, and then you just need a table to work on. So I'm going to show you what I do here. My templates for this are really thin aluminum. Um, it's just aluminum sheeting from uh, Home Depot. And I print out the airfoils in uh, Profili and then uh, super, you know, just glue them down with Super 77 glue them onto there and you can actually cut these out with scissors which makes it really nice to make. They're not very rugged. I have to make new ones every once in a while if they bend um, or break. Um, I have some more permanent templates over here. I'll grab some. 
like this one, it's similar, but it's made from a phenolic, and it's a little more durable. Um, oh, there's one sitting right here for my hand launch, made from Formica, that's very durable. But for quick and easy, it's hard to beat that little aluminum because you can make the templates really quick, and they're easy to re remake if you need to, um, and they work fine. So the first thing you do, you got the piece of foam sitting on the table. I put a little bit of weight on the foam to make sure it lays flat on my table. You cut the bottom first. So you put this on and line the lines up with the leading edge and the trailing edge. Take a nail. the template is laying flat on the table. Okay. Small side and then the long side over here. And these really these thin aluminum templates um, uh, they get difficult when they get long and skinny. You gotta make sure they stay straight. Probably be better off with Vermica or something in that situation. Okay, got our bottom templates on. Now we take our bow, cutting bow, set it at the start. This is just suspended from the ceiling. Uh, I had it suspended down a little farther like this, but it tended to, to, the swing of it tended to push the wire through before the, the hot wire through before the wire actually pulled it through. So it was kind of messing up the pole a little bit, but a little steeper angle takes care of that. <coughs> and then uh, to calculate where to, uh, to adjust the, the pulleys and the strings on the on the drop arm. It's just the ratio of the root cord to the tip cord, for the most part. Um, it's really the ratio of your pull strings out here. So uh, it's a little bit of a trial and error, but you can get really close just by looking at the ratio of your wings. Um, and this one's already set up, so I'm gonna. This is the short side, so it goes to the short pulley. And then I just use a clamp to hold it. The long side always goes over here to the long side, all the way out of the 100%. Released. Now, my, it's wanting to drop now, and there's tension on the wires. I have about a pound of weight sitting at about 75% to help pull it down. Um, it's getting a good cut on foam is, is there's a, it's a combination between how fast it pulls through and the heat of the wire. Um, you don't want to pull too hard because, well, if you're too cold or you pull too fast, the, the wire tends to bend and you don't get a straight pull through your whole wing, and so you get a kind of a weird airflow. Uh, this should pull all right right here. So the thing I one thing I do on the bottom is I I kind of push the bow down and when we start to cut. I kind of push the bow down to make sure that the leading edge, that bottom profile, gets cut because it's wanting to pull straight across and not drop down. And then after that, it's hands off. Uh, so let's do it. Here we go. That's it, you just gotta wait for it to pull through. I don't know if you can catch it on the video, you can kinda hear it sizzling a little bit.
This is kind of a long panel to cut, um, and so you have to cut, at least I've found, for my luck, to cut a little slower than normally. Normally you might cut a little faster than this. <coughs> but when you do that, the wire has to be hotter, and you tend to lose your trailing edge. It'll pull the, it'll, it won't have a, a good full trailing edge on the wing. Not a huge problem when you lay it up, to be honest, I don't think it's a huge problem, but the cores do look better, and it probably is better to have a good straight trailing edge there. They get cleaned up once they get laid up with uh, fiberglass. So it's, it, that issue somewhat goes away. Like watching paint dry. But you can see, I, don't, I hope you can see on the video, the arm is falling. It's pulling these wires at the right uh, rate. Each one. And I catch it as it comes out. And you see that uh, this long one here did come out a little sooner than that one. I clean, try to clean the wire up in between the cuts. It really helps on that leading edge. Okay. Power's off. Pull templates. Now, on these templates, when I cut the holes for the, or drilled the holes for the nails, I laid them right on top of each other so that the nail holes lay right on top of each other for the airflow. So all that's left to do is start this back in the same hole. Since that side come out sooner, this one, this side needs to pull a little faster. So let's move it over here. Tight, ready to go again. Let's uh, let's get it started. This one, I you know sometimes on the on this one I'll uh, um, get it started too, but they'll typically start by themselves without too much trouble. Yeah, we're going. There's your wing. At least half a wing, I guess. 
pretty good trailing edge, nice straight trailing edge. A little burnt here, but not bad. Um, airfoil looks good. Wing, wing, leading edge looks pretty good. Trailing edge is good. There's half a wing. The other side's done the same way. Just flip the, the piece over and move your templates around and change the way the wires pull, and that's it. And then you got your templates. Your, uh, I'm sorry, your cores for the wing. All right.